Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are going to learn about select ROI function. ROI stands for region of interest. So this function helps us to be able to draw our regions, our region of interest on the image. And this uh, region is going to be rectangle region. And also this function is overloaded. You can see here they are different than each other, just the parameters they are taking. For example, the first one taking window name and the second one is not taking and we will understand more clearly on the code part about the differences of these overloaded functions. And select row is just a different than the other one. With this function you can only choose one region and but the, this one you can uh, you will be able to draw more than one region according to your desire. You can choose more regions, more rectangle areas in your image. Okay. Let's pass to the code part. Uh, this is our simple code we are always using and let's uh, directly calling select ROI function and doing nothing. Uh, maybe we can start with the um, window name specifying the first overloaded function. Let's specify input name and after that um, so we are gonna uh, give our input image name. Then crosshair true. Let's leave the true one, uh, default one. Default one already true from center false default one. Let's continue with this and understand what they are doing. I'm running the code. Okay, now it uh, wait us. It expect us to draw the region. First of all, uh, all you need to do, all you need to do is that uh, pressing your left button of mouse and uh, pressing that and where you want to stop release in here so you are able to draw your region. Okay, by this parameter which is from center is false. So I start from here from corner. So and I, I released in here. So it's drawing here. But if this is true, this point is gonna be uh, center not corner. You will more understand when I try it. And this parameter true means just drawing this reticle, this crosshair and nothing else. If you make it false, this will be disappear. Okay, after you uh, select your region, just press uh, space or enter and it is done so it's already give you the rectangle output area and you can do what you want to do with that information you can use it and continue the code so first of all it stopped here it let us to choose our region then it continues to the uh, code part okay and first of all let's make this false and let makes this true and see the differences and let's paste those parameter quick let me draw you see the the point i started now the center of my region so also you don't see reticle anymore when i release my button it's like this and pressing enter and it's in here when i press it will return zero okay and we can uh, leave these parameters for now and let's see the the first over the the second overloaded one which is no uh, window name anymore and see the result okay the code in here now in this line so it's already created my input named window inside empty because it does not yet come to here and roy selector is the default window which opencv uh, specify on the back end because uh, so we didn't give any uh, window name so it give it pop ups a default window with this we can choose our region of interest and after that it will come to this line and it will show the input image okay uh, maybe also you can uh, check the output of this and we can see how it looks like uh, yeah this is maybe fine and to be able to see the output of this rectangle R dot x or okay we can try to see at all uh, this is x point which is the left corner left top corner of the rectangle r dot y and r dot width okay r dot width and one more R dot height okay so we are gonna get the output with this console output okay now I'm choosing 
I already choose it almost start from 106 to 79 and with approximately 200 maybe like that so you see here the starting point the corner left top corner x y and the width and the height you see your output and uh, lastly let's see the uh, select rows this will be able this will let us to choose more than one region uh, maybe first of all we can see the purely okay and what what is the expectation parameter of ROIS the window name image and bounding boxes since this does this is a void function we need to give bounding boxes as input let's copy this to be able to more easily uh, come to here okay and rectangle array let's say first of all the window name input then the image then the rectangle array which is um, rect error and the rest of can stay defaultly let's run the code okay uh, the usage in there also written you can see here it says uh, use space or enter to finish current selection and start a new one use escape to terminate multiple selection process okay let's see uh, let's run the code okay press the first one and let's one more second third fourth each time i'm pressing the enter and now i will escape press and it's done now it's here one more press it's gone yeah also you can see the output of this array by the same or in your case you can see the uh, outputs and this just different different than the select roi because it helped us to choose multiple regions okay for this video i'm done actually uh, we are able to uh, we are we are already learned how to use this select roi and see you in the next videos